everyone, Awkward Millie here and today I would like to talk to you about my January favorites. Okay, so I thought this video um, deserves to mention just only one game and that is Skyrim. Skyrim deserves its own video of how awesome the game is. Skyrim is pretty much Legend of Zelda and Game of Thrones had a baby. Pretty much. Um, and uh, Skyrim is a, is a kingdom and you have different races living in Skyrim. Um, and one of them being Nords. They're like the first human race to live in the land. But it's mixed with, you know, humans and also magical creatures. Uh, some of the other different races, like my character is the Red Guard. Um, and then you have the High Elves. I don't, I don't remember the name, like Karjit or something like that. It's like, they look like a uh, lion and human. You know, they're standing upright, but it's, they're like, a I don't know, some feline type of creature. Then you have the lizard type creature. I forgot the name. Um, an orc. You can be an orc. So you can customize your character. Um, give it the shape you want. Um, I guess the the hair, the, the face, and everything like that. So it's pretty cool. And there are so many quests in this game. So there is a... Let's see, how do I explain this? Because there's so much going on and I've been playing this game for a while, for over, I think, for a month already. So correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm just gonna say this from the top of my head. So the Stormcloaks are pretty pissed off at the Imperials because um, the Imperials made a deal with the Elves, um, you know, magical creatures to keep peace in the um in skyrim and the nords feel like uh, you know they, they shouldn't they pussy it out um to say the least I, I i couldn't think of another word um but they they were they're cowards they don't see them as um a force to be reckoned with so there is that conflict between the imperials and their storm cloaks um the imperials they do want to keep peace in skyrim um, the Stormclothes, they seem to be very hard-headed and a bit racist because I forgot what race they really hate. I think the Elves, the Dark Elves, maybe? Could be wrong. I don't know what else, but uh, I know they hate um, one particular uh, race. But there you have that. Then you learn that you are yourself a Dragonborn. Dragonborn means you are a human, but you also have blood of a dragon, which lets you then learn the language of the dragon, which gives you power to do these really cool magic. I mean, I'm up to the point where I can call a dragon to help me in battle. Um, you can slow time, you can breed fire or um, ice. What else? Um, you can scare people off, take away, um, or at least weaken them from their armor. Cool things like that. It's just awesome. Um, you don't really understand their language, but because it's in your blood, you can learn it. Um, if that makes sense. Um, so you have dragons, um, and that's scaring people, and you're learning all these dragon language. And, and while the Stormcloaks and the Imperials are having you know, there are little conflicts there. And then there's a lot of other quests. Um, there are groups that you can be a part of. You can be part of the Imperials, or you can be part of the Stormcloaks. You can be part of the um, companions who are, uh, they are with the Imperials in a way. Like they say that they're independent. They don't deal with politics. However, if there is an issue going on in Skyrim, then they'll go and handle it. And get paid for it so you know they're all about their money there's that and then there is also a group the thieves guild I think you can be a thief pretty much stealing doing little grimy stuff I guess sneaky stuff which I'm not with this character or you can be part of the assassins group where they'll give you a task and you got to kill the person you can't ask any questions you just got to do it and kill them 
so you have options those are those are some of them there's there's definitely more groups you you're not obligated to do all of the quests one of the quests was to join the storm cloaks which i didn't and i ended up joining the imperials i am part of the companion at one point i was a werewolf yes a werewolf but i I was able to cleanse myself and then so yeah so you you can even be a mage you can have powers so aside from having dragon powers you can you have magical powers um, and you can learn so many skills um, you can learn how to create your armor there are so many different armors and you need to keep building it so then you can have better skills and better armors and then weapons and and I love the fight scenes where they do it in slow motion and so this game really keeps you occupied you think you're going to do a simple quest that will probably take you you're thinking oh maybe this will take me five or ten minutes no there's so many things to um, explore and there are even giants and mammoth and bears oh my but um, there, well, yesterday I was fighting two giants and three mammoth. That was very interesting. It was, it was fun. Um, and that took me a while to, to kill them. But there are, uh, there are so many stuff that you find and there's always something new and, and other creatures that you find. And the great thing is, like I said, you don't do, have to do every quest. You don't have to participate in everything. And that makes it interesting for when you create another character. You can do all the things that you haven't done. Uh, you can have a follower, somebody um, help you fight, um, do quests, and they can also help you very much carry things because you're always finding cool stuff. You can make your own potions. It, it's just it's endless with the amount of stuff you can do. So I definitely don't I don't find myself ever being bored with the game um, Skyrim. And I'm really looking forward to creating a new character again because I would like to explore the whole the whole Stormcloak um, quest, see what um, task they have me do, and then um, also be part of the assassins. And then there's also this one really evil person or evil lord there that he wants me to be part of his crew um and they're just pretty much very evil you just, they, i think they just want to kill people <laughs> um what makes them different from the assassins well the assassins are they're like um paid contractors i guess you can say somebody tell them hey kill this person for me because he's a rapist or something like that and then you go they give you the assignment and you go in and you kill the guy, uh, kind of a thing. The evil dude, I'm, I keep forgetting the name of um, the the spirit or whatever the heck it is, but um, they, just, they just do it for fun, they don't care. <laughs> it's just kill, kill, kill. And that's it. So overall, this is just a really great game to play. It, it can be a little bit addicting I shall say because you're gonna say oh I'm just gonna do this one quest and then you just get so involved in that and in the story that's going on because you can even hear some of the stuff that the people in different towns there are different um, and, and people talk and you can hear the conversation the conflict what people think about the war and all and it's just very interesting hearing what everybody has to say and but I know it, it depends on the person uh, what type of game you're into I'm very much into fantasy um, and I love uh, battle um, role-playing type of games and this is just right up my alley and anybody who's into fantasy games I have it for Xbox 360 I was waiting for because um, I would love to build build a gaming PC however it's not gonna happen anytime soon and I saw a great deal on Xbox Live for the Skyrim game I think I got it for $6.99 uh, I think that's around the price I got it so I was like I can't I can't fall back on that deal I mean that's a great deal and it's an awesome game and I just been wanting to play it for a long time and I just couldn't wait any longer and I'm glad that I purchased it I'm having a great time I know on PC there's a lot of mods and the graphics are ten times much better but I mean I grew up with video games Nintendo playing Duck Hunt um, Pac-Man 
Mario Brothers and so anything that's kind of like pixelated like that, I really don't care to that graphic to me is not like number one um, for me number one is the storyline and this has a really good storyline um, and you can read up of uh, up on Skyrim which I am gonna put the link um, at the at the description area so that you can read about uh, Skyrim and just brush up on a little bit of the history because uh, you can get a little bit lost with all that that's going on um, and you can even buy a home and I think you can even marry in the game you can marry um, so yeah there's so much and Skyrim is just such an awesome game I don't know how much how much more I can elaborate on that it's just a great gameplay so much to do and it's it's fun so um, if you haven't tried it I say definitely try it and see if you like it or not um, all right so thank you so much for watching I uh, just want to end this video before I continue to ramble on I always appreciate it and I hope you see that um, I don't know how else to show it but thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video okay <laughs>